Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villarreal, and today we're going to be going over my predictions for this year's NBA playoffs, the 2021 NBA playoffs, and we're going to get things started in the play-in tournament, which I think that the play-in tournament is going to end up being very similar to the wild card game in baseball, because right now there's not a lot of fans that are in favor of the playing tournament a lot of fans are against it but i think that the playing tournament every year is going to be some of the best basketball of the year and over time it's going to be something that is looked forward to almost as much as the nba finals is looked forward to kind of very similar to the wild card game where at first a lot of people were not on board with it however now it's seen as some of the best baseball in the calendar year and so i think it's going to be the same thing with this playing tournament and basketball where over time everyone's going to love the playing tournament more than or almost more than they love the finals because it's going to be some really good basketball because when you're one and done it creates for some great playoff moments and that's what's going to happen with this playing tournament is it's going to be great basketball every year that it's a thing which i think it's going to be a thing going forward i'm excited for it. and it's going to be a time when the best basketball is played in these playing tournaments and this year we have some good matchups we're going to get things started with the seven and eight game in the western conference the one everybody's talking about the lakers taking on the warriors and the Golden state warriors i think are going to win this game just because it's the battle of steph curry and LeBron James, I just think that Steph Curry is going to outscore LeBron. He's going to outplay LeBron. I think that he's going to hit clutch three-pointers when they need to be hit. He's going to make the plays that need to be made when they're going to be made. Steph Curry is something special. And Steph Curry is going to be looked back on as the Michael Jordan of this generation. And this is going to be a game that everybody looks back on when they look back at the great legacy that Steph Curry has, because Steph Curry is going to go and have an all-time great performance against the Lakers. The 9-10 matchup in the Western Conference, it's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies taking down the San Antonio Spurs, and the combination of John Moran and Jaron Jackson is just going to be too good for San Antonio to stop. I think that the combination of those two is just too much talent for San Antonio. Those are the two best players on the court, in my opinion. And they both play for Memphis. And for that reason, I think Memphis is going to move on in the playing tournament. They're going to face the Lakers. The Warriors are going to lock up the, the seven seed. And I think the Lakers are going to end up with the number eight seed as they will take down the Memphis Grizzlies. I, I think that LeBron James, after losing to Steph Curry, after losing to the Warriors in the first game of the playing tournament, he's going to be on a mission to beat the Grizzlies and not miss the playoffs. I think LeBron's going to have a very great game against the Grizzlies to avoid playoff elimination. And because of that, I have the Lakers getting the eighth seed. Moving on into the Eastern Conference is the Boston Celtics, and I think they're going to beat the Washington Wizards in their matchup. I just think that Jason Tatum is an extremely special player, extremely special talent. And Boston, they're a little bit injured right now, but Jason Tatum is going to put the team on his back. And I don't trust Washington enough in the playoffs. I don't think they're going to be a very good playoff team. I think that Jason Tatum is going to put the Boston Celtics on his back and win the game. For Boston, they're going to get the 7th seed. Moving on, the 9-10 matchup. LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets taking on the Indiana Pacers. I, I think Miles Bridges is going to have a great game. He's going to have 30 points. And LaMelo Ball is going to have a triple-double. And that's just too much for the Pacers to stop. And I think that that combination of Bridges and Ball is going to get... The Hornets passed the Pacers and they will move on in the playing tournament and they're going to end up beating the Washington Wizards because I think that they just are the better team. I think that LaMelo Ball is going to make 
key plays when they need to be made because at the end of the day, LaMelo Ball is this generation's Magic Johnson. He's this generation's Magic Johnson, and for that reason, he's going to make amazing passes, going to lead to amazing assists. He's going to score. He's going to do everything that you need him to do on the basketball court against the Wizards, and he's going to show why he should win Rookie of the Year, in my opinion. I think that him and Miles Bridges is going to be very key in the win for the Hornets against the Wizards to get the number eight seed. Moving on into round one in the Western Conference after the Lakers taking down the Jazz because the Jazz, I don't think they're good enough to beat the Lakers in a seven game series. I just do not see it happening. Maybe they could win two or three games, but I do not think they can beat the Lakers four times in seven games. Moving on, I think the Mavericks are going to upset the Clippers. Mavericks going to get the series win over the Los Angeles Clippers because the Clippers are not a good playoff team. They just aren't. And I think that Dallas is going to capitalize on that, and the Dallas Mavericks will move on into round two in the NBA playoffs. The Denver Nuggets going to take down the Portland Trailblazers, led by Nikola Jokic. I just think that the Denver Nuggets are one of the best teams in all of basketball right now. And speaking of one of the best teams in all of basketball right now, the best team in all of basketball, the Phoenix Suns, are going to beat the Golden State Warriors. I think that this is the series where DeAndre Ayton takes that next step. He's going to get to that next level. DeAndre Ayton, a great young center, but I think that he has not reached his full potential yet. And I think he's going to reach it here. And I think that he is going to be this generation's version of Shaquille O'Neal. He has that type of potential. And I think that we're going to see that in this series against the Warriors. The Warriors don't really have a big man to stop DeAndre Aiden. I think that he's going to have the confidence to show his true capabilities, reach his full potential. And not only that, but DeAndre Aiden right now sitting at home, he's Thinking to himself, he realizes that in order for the Suns to win the championship this year, he's got to step up big in the playoffs. And I think that he will step up big in the playoffs. He wants to win the championship. And he's got to be one of the main reasons why the Suns win the championship if they do. DeAndre Aiden's going to need to have an amazing playoffs. And I think it's going to start here against Golden State in this opening round series. And I think DeAndre Aiden's going to step up and be the guy for the Suns, alongside Chris Paul, alongside Devin Booker, but DeAndre Aiden will take his game to another level, which is going to be necessary for the Suns if they want to win the championship. Moving on into the Eastern Conference side of things, I think the 76 is going to take down the Charlotte Hornets, and the reason why is Matias Thibel is going to have an amazing playoff series on the defensive side of the ball. He's going to lock down Miles Bridges. He's going to lock down LaMelo Ball if he ends up guarding LaMelo Ball. But Matias Thibel is a lockdown defender. He can lock down anybody on the court. And when you take away one of Charlotte's young stars, when you take away Miles My Bridges, when you take away LaMelo Ball from the Hornets, with Matias Thibault locking them down, I don't think they're the same team. And I think that because of that, the 76ers are going to move on. In the next matchup, the New York Knicks taking down the Atlanta Hawks. I just think that the Knicks are the better team. And they're an extremely hot team right now. They're going to beat the Hawks. And nobody on ESPN is going to forget about it. Like they, It's going to be all over ESPN. They love the Knicks. That's all ESPN is going to talk about is how the Knicks won a playoff series for the first time in forever. Moving on, I think the Milwaukee Bucks are going to take down the Miami Heat because Giannis Antetokounmpo is on a mission to win the NBA Finals. He signed that big contract. He wants to win the Finals. He wants to bring a championship to Milwaukee. And he's going to have an amazing playoff series against the Miami Heat, the defending Eastern Conference champions. And he's going to lead the Milwaukee Bucks into round two of the NBA playoffs. And last but not least, the Brooklyn Nets going to take down the Boston Celtics. And Boston, with their injuries, I just do not think they have enough to beat Brooklyn. And because of that, I think 
the Brooklyn Nets move on. Now moving on into round two, I have the Lakers in the Western Conference beating the Dallas Mavericks in round two of the playoffs. And just because playoff LeBron is a different beast and LeBron will get the Lakers back to the Western Conference Finals. And the Phoenix Suns going to sweep the Denver Nuggets. I think that DeAndre Aiden is going to outplay Nikola Jokic in this series. I think he's just going to outplay Nikola Jokic in these four games that the Suns have against the Denver Nuggets. And for that reason, the Phoenix Suns will move on to the Western Conference Finals for, a, for the first time in a very, very long time. And on the Eastern Conference side of things, I think the 76ers are going to beat the New York Knicks because when Matias Steibel shuts down Julius Randle, how are the Knicks going to react? I just don't think the New York Knicks are going to be the same team when Matias Steibel locks down Julius Randle. And for that reason, uh, I think that the 76ers are going to move on into the Eastern Conference Finals and the Brooklyn Nets are going to beat the Milwaukee Bucks because they just have too much talent. They have too much talent on their team. And for that reason, Brooklyn moves on. Now on to the conference finals. I have the Suns taking down the Lakers and winning the Western Conference and moving on into the NBA Finals. The reason why is just because I think that overall Phoenix is the much better team. They have better coaching. I think Devin Booker is going to play his best basketball in this series. We're going to see Devin Booker play his best basketball with the chance to go to the finals. And I think that he's going to lead the Suns to the NBA finals. Bring the Suns back to the finals. That's what Devin Booker is going to do. And because he's going to, he's the guy for Phoenix. He's going to, he's the guy that has to step up on the offensive side of the basketball for the Suns. And I, I, I know he's capable of doing it. He's going to do it for the Suns, and he's going to bring them back to the finals for the first time since the 90s. And, I mean, overall, Phoenix just, they are an extremely talented team. Like, when you just, when you look at this team from top to bottom, they're a good team. I think that Mikel Bridges is going to shut down LeBron James, and DeAndre Ayton is going to shut down... Anthony Davis, and when those two guys are shut down for the Lakers, I don't think they're the same team. And the Suns have a lot of great depth pieces that I think that this series, Lakers-Suns, it's going to come down to the bench. And I think that the Suns have a much better bench than the Lakers. And for that reason, I think the Suns move on. Moving on into the Eastern Conference Finals, I have the Philadelphia 76ers beating the Brooklyn Nets. I just think that it is that underdog mentality of Philadelphia. We saw it with the Eagles in 2017 when they won the Super Bowl. And I don't think that anybody really expected these 76ers to have the number one seed, but they do. I just think that this team, the Philadelphia 76ers, they just have that mentality of everybody's counted them out. Everybody's uh, expected Brooklyn to win the Eastern Conference. I think that the 76ers just have that underdog mentality and they're going to win the Eastern Conference. Even though everybody doubts them, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. And I just think that they're going to be the Miami Heat of this year. Because you look at the Miami Heat, nobody expected the Heat to win the Eastern Conference last year. And I think that very similarly, not a lot of people are expecting the 76ers to win the Eastern Conference. But they are one of, if not the best team in the Eastern Conference. They, I think they're going to use a lot of that doubt that other people have of them as motivation. They're going to be like, everybody's counting us out. But we don't count ourselves out. And because of that, I think the 76ers, with that mentality, with that underdog mentality, are going to the NBA Finals to play the Phoenix Suns. And I just think that the Suns, they're the much better team. And it's everybody on the Suns. Like, it's not just DeAndre Aiden. It's not just Chris Paul. It's not just Devin Booker. But it's everybody on the Suns that are going to contribute to the win. I mean, do not be surprised when guys like Cameron Payne are making clutch shots in the finals. When Cameron Johnson is playing amazing in the finals. When guys like Javon Carter are stepping up in the NBA finals. Don't be surprised because this Suns team, they're a lot better than just three players. I think a lot of people um, in the national media, in the mainstream media, just 
casual basketball fans and just basketball fans in general, I think a lot of people underestimate this Suns team and they just look at this Suns team as just Devin Booker, as just DeAndre Aiden, as just Chris Paul. But they're way more than that. They are an extremely deep team. And I think that they're the best team in all of basketball because it's not just about those three players. Yes, Devin Booker is going to be playing amazing. Yes, DeAndre Aiden is going to be playing amazing. And yes, Chris Paul is going to have an amazing finals and is going to play amazing throughout the playoffs. But it's not just about those three players. It's about how deep this Phoenix Suns team is, how talented this Phoenix Suns team is, and how good they are. From top to bottom, they are the best team in all of basketball. That's why I think they're going to win the finals. And I think it's going to be one of the best finals in NBA history. But they have that veteran leader in Chris Paul. I think that he is that locker room leader that the Suns need. And I think that you need that to win a championship. When you look back to, in 2016, my hometown team, the Chicago Cubs. I know it's baseball, but stick with me here. They won the World Series. It was a tough World Series. It was a close series, but it was the locker room leader, Jason Hayward, giving a speech to the rest of the team, rallying the team that got them to win that championship. I think something similar is going to happen with Chris Paul this year. It's going to be game seven. It's going to be a close game, maybe in overtime. And during a timeout, during a break, Chris Paul is going to give a speech to the rest of the team. He's going to do something to rally the rest of the team and get them over the hump and get them to become NBA champions. I think that having that veteran leadership, having that veteran leader is going to make all the difference for an extremely talented Phoenix Suns team. I think that they will win the championship. This is the year that the Phoenix Suns bring a championship to the Valley. And I just think that the best team in all of basketball, Chris Paul's going to have an amazing finals. Devin Booker's going to have an amazing finals. DeAndre Aiden's going to have an amazing finals. And just up and down the roster, everybody, Cameron Johnson, Cameron Payne, Jay Crowder, Mikel Bridges, all these guys are going to have an amazing finals. And for that reason, the Phoenix Suns are going to win the NBA Finals in the year 2021. Do not be surprised. When it happens, because this is the best team in all of basketball, it's not even close by far. The Suns are the best team in all of basketball. They are winning the finals this year. You heard it here first. That is all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content. I'll see you all in the next video.